Hello, and welcome to part 6 of the Railroad Tunnel Project. I have just visited my home village, to fetch some more sea lanterns for the tunnel roof, so I can finish the tunnel, and start to build some stairs up to the surface. The travel distance from my home village is about 17,500 blocks, so it takes about 30 minutes to travel to the Mesa by rail. I haven't measured the time when flying with the Elytra, but when traveling by train I can just sit back and relax, and I will definitely not go in a wrong direction and get lost. But what is this? A wooden wall with a sign on it. This was definitely not here when I left a couple of hours ago. There seems to be a message in the chest. I better read it before I continue. Hello CW3T. We're really sorry that we never built the elevator in your sea temple, but unfortunately we had a little too much capnip the day before we should build it, and slept like dogs for a whole week. But now we have compensated you for that error and the result you will see behind this wooden wall. Best regards, the catnap team. P.S. No charge for this build, but a bag or two of catnip would be most appreciated. That was a pleasant surprise, and how nice of them to do this. I wonder what they built here at the Mesa biome so deep underground? Let's tear this wall down and find out. What is it? It's a new underground railway station. And it looks really nice too. A huge thank you to the catnap team, they have saved me a lot of work by building this station. Now let's take a close look at it. And they have also built a long stair up to the surface. It's night outside and I can hear monsters. I better be careful so I don't get hurt. It's a nice entrance they built, and I will take a closer look at it later, when I have slept, and the monsters are gone. So many monsters outside. I don't dare to fight all of them now. I have to sleep first. Now that some of them burned up, I can fight the rest of them, and then take a closer look at the entrance.
It's a real nice entrance too. I like the combination with polished diorite, the iron fence, and the lanterns. I think I will illuminate more of the area around here to prevent the monsters from spawning, and maybe I build some more houses or other buildings. Looks like some sand is missing at the back of the entrance. Luckily there is a lot of those blocks here, so later I will fill that hole with sand. The mountain over there, is where I have mined most of the terracotta blocks. I will continue mining there until it is almost gone, and then build a road through it, from this village to another village a bit further away. As you can see, there is a lot of terracotta here in different colors that I can mine. It is also possible to dye terracotta if I don't have enough of the right color. If I, for example, want black terracotta, I can take squid ink dye, and combine it with uncolored terracotta in a crafting table. And here is the village I want to build a road to. There are some villagers here too, so if there is a road built, they can visit the people in the other village. Now let's go down to the station, and connect the railway in the tunnel, with the rail in the station. I use polished granite blocks as floor under the rail, and every 15 blocks I put a redstone torch under the block, and a power rail over it. Then I put sea lanterns in the roof every 5 blocks.
Now that we're finished, let's take a short ride in the minecart to the station. A perfect result. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you will give it a thumb up. Thanks for watching, bye bye.